Hi everyone, it's me, Jeff Nataro, your Director of Global Services Engineering with NetBrain. A while back, I showed you how you can fill those gaps in your NetBrain maps using generic devices when you don't have SNMP or CLI access. I'll go ahead and put a link to that video in the description below so you can check it out. So what happens if you need to onboard a device to NetBrain and you're allowed CLI access, but there's no SNMP access? That's got to be impossible, right? Well, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you that discovery of those CLI-only devices is not only possible, but with our network definition feature, it's quick and easy as well. Let's check it out. From the end user desktop, go to the tic-tac-toe dots in the upper left corner of the screen, and then search for network definition. With the network definition screen successfully loaded, let's quickly talk about what discovering by network definition is going to do for you. As you may or may not be aware, during the discovery of standard CLI accessible networking devices, NetBrain will attempt to identify the device being discovered by examining its reported SNMP object identifier, or OID. Once the device has been properly identified, NetBrain loads the appropriate device driver and attempts to access the device using CLI. These device drivers are then used by NetBrain to apply the appropriate command syntax when sending commands and reading output from your devices. So that, for example, NetBrain won't try to send Cisco IOS commands to a Fortinet firewall. When we use network definition, we shortcut the SNMP discovery process altogether and just tell NetBrain what the device is and which device driver it should use when communicating with a specific IP address or range of IP addresses. To get us started, I'm going to click on Add, which will pop up the Associate Device Type and Driver dialog. Now in this box, I'm going to specify the IP address of the device I want to discover using network definition. And then I'll go ahead and specify the device type, which is a combination of the vendor and the model. Lastly, I'll select the built-in NetBrain driver that's been designed to work with my particular device, and then click Save to complete my network device definition. When attempting to discover a device using network definition, and it's not 100% obvious to you which device type or driver to use, be sure to connect with our technical support team, and they'll be happy to give you a hand with this. Now, as you can see, I've successfully created the network definition that indicates to NetBrain, anytime our discovery process encounters this IP address, it's only to use the device type and driver that I specified to access it. All that's left is to run the discovery process and bring it into NetBrain. And freeze. Before I discover this device, you're probably asking yourself, this looked really easy and is going to be a very short video. Why bother with SNMP discovery at all? Well, manually mapping every device IP in your network to a device driver in this way simply doesn't scale and will require lots of careful management to ensure that your digital twin stays accurate. Much like that generic device feature, network definition is designed to help you fill those critical gaps in your NetBrain digital twin, but not take the place of standard device discovery. Let's switch to our discovery pane, input the device IP, and then click Start Discovery. Now, if I click on Device Log, I can get more detailed information about the steps taken by NetBrain during the discovery process in a clear table format. As we can see, we have the IP address of the device, its host name, an indication of successful configuration retrieval by CLI, and the successful ping check operation that initiates the discovery process. However, note that the SNMP, SysObject ID, device type, and vendor fields are not filled in. These are only populated during a normal SNMP step in a discovery process. And there you have it, one freshly discovered, network defined, CLI accessible device that's ready for use in my NetBrain system with its full CLI configuration available for any manual troubleshooting or intent-based automation development. As you just saw, using network definition is the way to get those CLI-only devices discovered and to help you maintain a proper digital twin of your physical network in NetBrain. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the NetBrain YouTube channel. You'll automatically be notified when we release more videos like these to help you get the most out of your NetBrain platform. 
If you have questions, comments, or ideas for future videos, be sure to leave a comment below. Don't forget to visit us at www.netbrain.com to learn about our latest no-code automation innovations, and we'll see you next time.